Hey guys, Ash here from curseforward.com and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to unroot the Samsung Galaxy S4. So this is applicable to all variants of the Galaxy S4. I myself have both the i9500 and the i9505. So let's see how to unroot it so that uh, there are no traces of your phone being rooted. Uh, if you need to sell it or if you need to send it in for warranty purposes and so on. So let, let me start with what it is that we're going to do. So when we root, your, root our devices, one moment. So when you root your phone, there are some traces that it leaves. So the first one is in the settings. When you go to the about device and you go to status, it's going to say device status custom. All right. The next one is going into the download mode. That is down volume. I mean, first turn off your phone. And now hold down volume, power and home at the same time. Down volume, power and home. This takes you to the download mode. So volume up to continue. And now if, if you can see it, let me just adjust the focus. There you see it says custom, current binary and system status. This might look a little different to you depending on the variant you have because on my Galaxy S4 i9 500 it does look a little different. But basically, we need to get this back to official. We need to get the system status there also back to official. So I'm just going to just pressing and holding the power button over here turns the phone off. We're going to reboot uh, back up and uh, we're going to go ahead and unroot the device. All right, guys, we are up here. So what do you, what you do right now is head on over to the Play Store and download this app called Triangle Away. It is a paid app and I highly suggest that you pay for it. But... If you don't want to do that, you can get it from XDA developers forums. The developer has made it available, the APK file available for free there. So Google it, get it from XDA developers forums and uh, install the APK. All right. Uh, okay. Now open it up. You will be asked for this. Just grant super user privileges. Grant it. All right. No thanks for now. So guys, a little note here, as of today, that is the 14th of May 2013, the Galaxy S4 i9-500 is not supported by Triangle Away yet, but I personally have been using this app since the Galaxy Note 1, that is the N7000, and uh, every device keeps getting added, so the developers, I mean, works real hard on it and uh, adds most of the devices, so most probably by the time you're watching this video, the i9-500 will be supported, so just check it out. Uh, if it isn't supported yet, just give it a week, come back, and it will be supported. So anyway, once uh, once you get it, once you open it up, uh, it will show your current status here, binary custom. All right, just hit reset flash counter and hit continue. And okay, so the flash counter has now been reset. All right, guys, now what you do is you press and hold the power button and turn your Galaxy S4 off. So now from the download section in the description, go ahead, hit link one. That will take you to the Samsung Keys page, download and install Samsung Keys. All right, once you've done that, hit link two and link two will get you Odin 307 and link three will take you to sammobile.com. So on sammobile.com, click on firmware and below that, you've got another option saying firmwares. Now select it. So over here, you get these set of drop down menus, select smartphone, OS Android, and select your model number. So we are looking for the stock firmware for the i9505 that I'm using to demonstrate uh, for demonstration purposes in this video. And from this list, you can select your country. All right, so if your country isn't listed, select anything close enough. So uh, I've imported this from the UK. So I'm gonna select United Kingdom. All right, so select one of these and download it. Just click on, click over here. It'll ask you to create a account. The account, creating an account here is free. So go ahead, uh, create a free account and uh, download, the, uh, download the firmware and save it somewhere on your PC. I've already done that. So this is the file that I downloaded from uh, sammobile.com and this is from link two. So right click on Odin 
and extract it and right click on the firmware and extract that as well. So now guys while it's extracting what you do on your Galaxy S4 is hold the down volume power okay going zooming back out all right hold the down volume power and home buttons at the same time again just keep holding it and uh, hit volume up to continue so we are back in the download mode so uh, you've, uh, you've already installed Samsung keys so just make sure Samsung keys isn't currently running check your system tray make sure Samsung keys isn't running in the background if it is close it and connect your Galaxy S4 to your PC using a micro USB cable so now go ahead go into the Odin folder and open up Odin right click run as administrator so as long as you have Samsung keys installed and the drivers are working fine this will turn blue all right uh, and if you haven't downloaded Odin from my link, if you already have a low, an older version of Odin, that's fine. For older versions of Odin, this turns yellow. That's the only difference. So now make sure you don't touch any of these. Just auto reboot and f.reset time are the only ones that need to be checked. Everything else remains unchecked. So click on PDA and navigate back to wherever it is that you've downloaded and extracted the firmware that we got from sammobile.com. All right, just give it a few seconds. Uh, in this time, when you try to move it, it might say not responding. Don't worry about, like you see right now, it says not responding. Don't worry about it. Give it a minute or so and it will respond. Just wait for it, uh, for the MD5 check to be finished. All right, so uh, as you can see, it's been added right now. Now click on start. So there you see, this is what you're going to be seeing on your Galaxy S4. You see this little blue bar here that's going to fill up and uh, you will see the blue bar over here fill up as well. So just wait for it. It'll take about five to 10 minutes. Just wait for it to complete. If you had gotten a fail over here uh, with a red background, it means you have driver issues. Uh, reboot your PC and uh, uninst I mean, try again. If it still gives you the same error, uninstall Samsung keys, uh, reboot your PC reinstall it reboot it again and then try it if it still continues uh google for you know, google manual installation of samsung drivers uh you will find some solutions in all probability it'll work fine just letting you guys know so so let's wait for this to complete i'll be back with you guys once odin is done all right guys we are done there you see the blue color reset there so once you see that you can disconnect your phone from the pc all right so the Galaxy S4 will now reboot back. All right, guys, we're up. So now if, uh, going into settings right now and uh, about device and status, it's still going to say device status custom. So what you do, what you need to do right now is go ahead, take a backup of whatever apps or data that you want. Uh, your, what do you say, your media files, that's your photos, your movies and your MP3 files are going to remain. So don't worry about it. But uh, call logs or any apps installed just uh, make a backup uh, of whatever you want and then go ahead turn your phone off because we are going to do a factory wipe so just wait for the uh, a capacitive button, the light on the capacitive buttons to go off once it goes off hold down uh, up volume power and home again up volume power and home let the keys go once you see Samsung Galaxy S4 displayed. This will take you to Android system recovery. All right, just give it a minute. So here the volume rockers act as navigation buttons and the power, power button uh, doubles for selection. So scroll down and select wipe data factory reset and hit the power button. Scroll down, delete all user data. So just wait for this to be done. All right, now it's done. So select a uh, reboot system now. So your phone will now reboot. Again, guys, keep in mind, this is the first boot after you've done a factory reset. So this is gonna be a lot longer than your regular boot time. So don't worry, it might take as long as five minutes to boot. So just be patient, wait for it to boot up and it will. All right, guys, we're back up. So I'm just gonna quickly run through uh, setup. So guys, I just got through setup. So now I'm going into settings 
uh, more about device status. You can see the S a Galaxy S1 now shows as official. Now let's try the next check that is going in the software update and hitting update. So generally, uh, if you're rooted, it's gonna uh, tell you you've got modified firmware, cannot update. So let's uh, let's just check. The latest updates have already been installed, so it doesn't seem to detect any issue. So one final check, turn off the phone, All right, so now hold down volume power and home at the same time. Hit volume up to continue. And now, there you see it. It says uh, current binary, Samsung official, system status official. So this means your phone has now been uh, unrooted back to stock with no traces of ever being rooted. So if it still doesn't go back to official, you just go ahead, reroute your phone and go back to, uh, I mean, follow the same tutorial again. The reason for that is uh, when you're when you're on a non-stock kernel, triangular way sometimes is not able to reset your counter back to zero or official. So that's pretty much it. We've got a Galaxy S4 back uh, to factory state with no traces of being rooted. So if you guys have any questions or if you run into any issues, you can always hit us up at cursforover.com slash forums. And uh, before you go, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and uh, hit the subscribe button. So that's it for now. If you guys have any video requests for me or if you just want to stay updated on my latest videos and updates, you can hit me up on Facebook, Twitter or Google+. Plus. Direct links to all my social networks can be found right below the like button in the description. So thanks a lot for watching. Hope this video was useful to you. And uh, I'll see you guys soon with another video. Till then, it's Ash here from CurseForever.com signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.